Hello, another great day in the name of Jesus to, uh, to get into the word real quick. You know, uh, it's a great day. Um, I love life now and, uh, and I wanted to talk about God's will. You know, a lot of people pray on what God's will is there, is what God's will for their life is and what they God wants them to do, but it's clearly written in his word. And I want to, it's revealed to us in his word. And I want to read a few time, few things that it says it, right? And that, that I'm not saying you shouldn't pray for God's will, but if it's revealed to us right here, and uh, there's a reason these are written for us. It's revealed to us in his written word, right? And I guarantee you, God will show you. If you do these, he'll show you something more. Right? But a lot of times we ain't getting a response from God because He's we haven't applied these to our lives yet. God has told us His will right here in His written word. That's why it's written to us. Right? So it's a, a revelation of Him in His Word, through His Word, right? And it speaks to our spirit, right? So I want to read to you right here. It's just first Thessalonians uh, chapter four, starting at three. For this is the will of God, right there says it this is the will of god your sanctification that you should abstain from sexual immorality that each of you should know how to possess his own vessel in sanctification and honor not in passion of lust like the gentiles who do not know god that no one should take advantage of and defraud his brother in this manner because the lord is the avenger of all such as we also forewarn you and testify for god did not call us to un to uncleanness but in holiness therefore he who rejects this does not reject man but god who has also given us his holy spirit so you know i've been witnessing the people and they think i'm judging them but i'm not judging them i'm just saying this is what god has said i'm not saying you're going to hell i'm trying to talk to people and to you and whoever listens this is the word of god god said god is going to judge i'm doing god's will right by letting you know what right? it says you were warned right you were warned and testified right i'm testifying this is the warning and i'm trying to speak to the truth and to people so they they could get the seed that plant that seed so they could get a revelation of god right and then and re and repent and receive the holy spirit so they could adjust their lives to the truth Right? There is grace and mercy. That's why we're sent, right? And we're going to talk about that. Here's another one. A lot of us are like at jobs and we don't like our jobs or whatever it is. Maybe you're having a church in a ministry and you don't like it. But it says right here in uh, 1 Thessalonians, again, chapter 5, though, uh, 16. Rejoice always. Pray without cease. In everything, give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Give thanks. Rejoice. Right? Be, be content. Right? Be joyful in all circumstances. Let me tell you, there's a lot of Christians out there that are like living in a secular job and they don't like their job. They want to be surrounded by other Christians. But God has you there for a reason, right? He said, be the be the salt, be the light, right? And your job might be a secular job. It might be a dark place, but you're the only revelation that Jesus Christ are going to have. So you, you have to take advantage of this, right? It's just testify, warn, talk, right? Like find an opening. God will open it up for you to, to speak kindly, right, with love about Jesus Christ, right? Talk about Christ. You don't have to get into what they're doing wrong right away, right? And just talk to them about Christ, right? And be, rejoice. God has you there for a reason. You have a calling on your life. This is the will of God, right? This is the will of God, right? So it goes, uh, where we at? Second Timothy 2, 3 to 4. It says... For this is good and acceptable, acceptable in the sight of God our Savior, who desires all men to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. For there is only one God, one leader between man and God, and the man Christ Jesus, who gave himself for a ransom. Bam! Right there. You're in a secular job, right? And you don't like it because everyone's cussing or talking about getting high or whatever it is. I know. I'm in a job like that. But you are there to tell them about Jesus Christ. But find God will open it up to ease it in. Right? You don't have to pound it in. You don't got to beat them over the head with the Bible, right? And, and 
like three, four people already know that I'm studying to be a pastor at my job. But I don't sit there and preach. I don't got time, right? But they know. They ask, what are you doing here? I'm, well, I'm only got work part time because I'm paying for my college. I got to go to college. So like at least, actually it's like six, seven people already know. They're like, what are you going to college for? I'm starting to be a pastor. Pastor, I'm going to Bible college, right? You know, I believe Jesus died for my sins, and uh, that's what I want to do. And I want to preach the gospel and tell everybody. And you're, you'll be surprised how many people are about that. They're like, that's amazing. They don't believe, but hey, it's a start, man. Maybe one's like, hey, I'm open to listen whenever we get time. So God's opening up slowly, but sure, it's God's time. It's God's will. You don't got to rush it, right? For which I was appointed to preach, a preacher and apostle. I'm speaking the truth in Christ and not lying. A preacher of the Gentiles in faith and truth. This is what Paul's telling Timothy. He's like, this is will of God, right? All right. So is it a uh, First Peter two fifteen? For this is the will of God that by doing good you may put to silence the ignorance of foolish men. As free, yet not using liberty as a cloak for vice, but as a bondservant of God. Honor all people, love the brotherhood, fear God, and honor the king. Right? There you go. Love God. Tell people, right? These are just these are these are just a few of what is revealed to us about God's will in our lives. So you could pray for it all you want, but it's right here. God is like, I gave you the will. I told you my will, and I handed it to you. It's given to you. You should have your own Bible, right? You should read it yourself, right? You know, salvation is a personal thing. You see the world falling around us, right? That's why you need to have a relationship with Christ, you know? And let me tell you, you could be religious and not saved, right? Paul, the apostle, was a Pharisee, right? But he didn't know Christ. He didn't know Christ. He didn't have a revelation of God through the Son, he didn't know about the Savior, and he didn't believe, but there's still grace and mercy in God. Jesus met him on the road to Damascus, right? He demasked him, right? And he was blinded, and he fasted and prayed, and he was led to be cleansed by a man, right? Laying of hands, right? And baptized in the power of the Holy Spirit, and then he was later empowered, right? And that's what we need. We need to talk, tell people, you know, so they could, God could uh, give them spiritual sight. You know, and, and change their lives. So those are just a few of God's will. You should read the Bible if you if you read if you're listening to this and you ain't never read the Bible. If you're listening to this and you barely read the Bible, you're hidden in there. No, start from the beginning and read the whole thing. Read the whole thing in context, right? The whole thing in context. Right? Get the true revelation, the whole revelation. Don't pick and choose who Christ is, and you'll see God's will and what He needs you to do, and you just do it, and He goes before you in the name of our Lord Yeshua, Jesus Messiah. Amen.